Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, John. How are you doing? Art, good to see you again, and good to see you for joining us. Thank you for uh, uh, joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. This is our founder's vlog, no, because every Monday... Uh, we record a vlog for Thursday. So it's our Thursday founders vlog. And we're the founders. And, and I'm and, ready to vlog. And, and you look like a vlogger. And so first thing we're going to talk about today is what we're not going to talk about. We're not talking about COVID-19. Oh. No, we're not no, going to give you our advice. Okay, everybody knows to wear a mask. <laughs> well, so I don't I have might, to repeat that I again. I might give advice. But but we all, what we are going to say is that we know a lot of you have children and grandchildren going back to school, both elementary and college and whatever. And yep. uh, uh, we just hope that everything turns out okay in your neighborhood, whether they're going online or whether they yep. are going um, uh, at school, full-time, part-time. It's a tough time sure. and hopefully- Or some combination, yeah. yeah. So we all wish everybody well, but we're gonna talk about some other things today uh, first of all, we're going to start thanking, off by thanking you for participating in our, our uh, chatting about the new design for right. the, our look and feel. And uh, John, we've had a lot of uh, re input, haven't we? We got some good response, and um, and I appreciate it. We didn't get a hundred percent. There was that that one guy who gave us an answer I really didn't want to hear, but we do appreciate the input. For all those people that did participate, uh, thank you, because it's good advice and good uh, good opinions. We're going to take them into account, and we will get back to you within a week or two, and right here on the Thursday vlog, and let you know what we are, uh, what we're going to do, what it's going to look like in the future. Right, hopefully, and of course, all of this. Hopefully, we'll be able to show it to you guys. Oh, I think yeah. we will. Yeah. You know, when we finally make a decision. But all of this, of course, is a reminder: is preparation for creating our talk show. Uh, mm -hmm. the Celebrating Act 2 talk show. And um, as I think we told you, the talk show is different because it's a one-hour format. It's the kind of thing you'd see on television with multiple guests, multiple subjects within the hour, uh, as opposed to our YouTube format or our online CelebratingAct2.com format, which is really a lot of videos you get to select from. And yeah, but they're basically, the they're they're basically interviews of... The two, either the two of us chatting on a vlog or right. us interviewing a single person. Unlike that, it's going to be a, a sort of a hybrid between a talk show with a lot of people chatting around and having a, a guest. But sometimes the guest will perform. So what, what would you call that? Uh, uh, like Well, the traditional name is called a talk variety show. Mm -hmm. But, the, you know, you mentioned the, the talk shows today, like The, the View and... Uh, the, the chat is it the chat or the talk the, the, the chat the true the doctors yeah whatever. the true and 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 all the talk shows today really uh, i think due to barbara walters uh with the view uh they're really a bunch of people sitting around a table anywhere from three to five people sitting around a table with or without a guest and they're all talking right. about issues of the day but the the traditional talk show that you and i know growing up was merv griffin or Mike Douglas or mm. uh, people like that. I, if you remember, um, Phil Donahue broke the mold. He was Did a he? big change. I didn't know that because, he had a mold. He had a mold. Yeah, he broke that talk show mold because uh, he would have a guest, mm -hmm. one guest, and he'd run up and down into the audience, and he always had a, one subject for the hour, and it was serious. It was important. Oh, Phil Donahue it was very important. Everything was crucial stuff, whereas all the talk shows were had information, but they were light, they were entertaining. And I think that's what we're going back to, is except, an entertaining. Except, except, except okay, except. A and uh, that's because uh, the world has caught up to us. Because in January, February, we started doing these online interviews and the online programs that we've been doing way ahead of uh, our time as far as uh, today's uh, talk shows and entertainment shows, which are now all being done by Skype or Zoom or 
some such. We were ahead of the game, and we started about a month or two before all they're, that. So are, there'll be no running. Us. There'll be no running down the aisle with a microphone. Okay, <laughs> that mold is somebody else's mold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're going to have interesting guests, and we're going to have uh, uh, maybe people doing some demonstrations and sure. uh, some other things. And I mean demonstrations like. Uh, yoga and things like that, not like uh, 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 demonstrating out in the street. Uh, no, no, okay, as a, or as opposed to, bam, throwing what? stuff on your hamper, right. bam. But bam. Any, but anyway, uh, we have a, a lot of great input from all of you. Thank you, and we're uh, accumulating that. Out. And hopefully, in the next week or two, we're going to have the framework of what the look and feel is going to be, and right. then uh, it's just a question of working on. Um, uh, uh, not, not to, to uh, minimize it, uh, all of the production stuff, which John is doing a huge amount of work on right now to uh, get the whole thing lined up so that we can have a one-hour show. A one-hour talk show. Yeah. Talk variety show. Yes. So it'll be it'll be interesting. You stick around uh, every 10 minutes, you have something completely different. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. And I think a lot of people are crying out for it, particularly if you're over 50. Um, you know, it, it'll be different. And I think uh, it's made for people like us over 50. Um, whether you're 60s or in your 70s or even in your 80s, uh, there's lots to talk about, lots of good information and some good entertainment. And the reason had. we call ourselves the user manual for the second half of your life is that we started doing this a while back. And uh, there, are, there, are, there are several forks on the road that we've taken. And some of them have been okay. And some Art, of them I, I can tell you, I can tell you personally, I've been forked quite a bit of going down that road. I'm, yeah. I'm going, I'm going to leave that for another time. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, we'd like to, our, our purpose is to uh, tell you where some of the potholes are and have more, perhaps more important than that, have you uh, meet people who have gone the same road that a lot of you are going down now and have done really great things. Uh, in, right. their, in, in the second half of their life. So that's what our dedication is. So, But in addition to, in the next week or two, having a format, we're going to share that with you, is that we've got some interesting interviews coming up. Uh, we do. Uh, John, we do. You, you set one up with somebody who uh, is uh, just Libby, traveled. Libby Perry. Yeah. Libby Perry. And yeah, so she's currently, right now, she's in the air. Really? Flying to... Flying to um, I think she's going through Nashville to South Carolina, something like that. I, I don't have the details. But she sent me some pictures from the airport, and she's going to give us a report on flying in the age of COVID-19. She's the first person in close to nine months, quite frankly, that I know has gotten an into, into an airplane. And, and, and this might not this might not even be her first flight. So she's going to give us a report, tell us what it's like at the airports, inside the plane, Everybody's different. I know there's uh, John Mariani, for instance. We talked to him. He has no desire to get yeah. on him. And he's a travel guy. Right. He, he travels a million miles a and year. He's thinking about Europe where to... where can he go on a day trip to a nice restaurant someplace and then right. get back home at night so he doesn't have to worry about He'd it. He'd rather drive. This, his travel right. these days is driving. But Libby and her family have been traveling so by air. So we're going to find out uh, one person's opinion of what it's like. And I, I think that'll be important. We'll have that in a week or so. And we're going to have another interesting uh, uh, interview with uh, uh, somebody who's very popular, uh, Herbie J. Herbie J. Pilato. Herbie J., yes. And yeah. uh, in addition to uh, talking about uh, his uh, interview program, basically on uh, the golden age of television, and that's right. sort of his genre, uh, uh, he also is uh, taking care of uh, aging parents. And right. so that's a whole... A separate side of life that uh, uh, many of us are dealing with, and uh, or maybe or dealing might with have it. to deal with might have to deal with coming somewhere in the near future. Yeah, right. right. And so, if you're older than we are, you want to have a kid like Kirby J in your life, and he's oh, going to he's going to talk about uh, yeah. uh, the things that uh, he's encountered while yeah. Uh, and if you're younger than we are, you'll want to learn from his experience uh, of having to take care of his. Uh, old parents, and, old, 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 really old parents. And if you're younger and wealthy and want to adopt us, uh, we come. <laughs> you can take care of us. We come as a, we come as a, a group home. So <laughs> yeah, 
So we're open to uh, that. Our, and, and you don't have to feel bad about it because we'll bring our wives with us. And so you you won't be separating us from the family. Right. In fact, I could bring the grandkids, too, and if you, you really want to take care of us. And you have a chicken and gophers, right? I've got a lot of gophers. <laughs> they, they, they're not coming, though. They're not coming? I'm leaving the gophers here, yeah. So anyway, um, so Herbie, Libby, and we're looking, we're talking, I'm probably going to revisit with uh, Bill Jones again, mm -hmm. Bill A. Jones. Uh, oh, by the, by the way, um, uh, for those of you who have uh, uh, not seen a segment on him, it, we haven't actually done a, an interview with him. We, we recorded him in a nightclub and right. uh, 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 he uh, recently, uh, he's a voice actor. He's a wonderful uh, crooner. I think crooning is a. Pruning is yeah. a good uh, name, yeah. yeah. Singer. He's, yeah. he's a big band singer. He loves the American standards. So we're going to interview him because he's in his act, too. And he was just actually uh, last week, he was on in General Hospital with a right. role as a hospital administrator. And he right. may wind up being a regular. But it, yeah. if not, we caught him on TV. And my wife says, oh, yeah, I remember that. Okay, so it's <laughs> not like she didn't know who he was. But yeah. you know, and he looks like he belongs. He looks like oh well, he's an actor. He's an actor. Uh, he's a big, handsome guy. Plays lots of different roles. And and, he, but more importantly, I for me, because I love you know I love music and yeah. I love his music. Yeah. Um, he's a singer who has had no clubs to perform in. Yeah. All the clubs are closed, you know, and probably will be for a while. So what's he been doing? Well. We have some fascinating stuff. He'll tell you what he's been doing in terms of his nightclub act. So that'll be great. Right, also, we, and more stuff. Right. we got more lined up. That, I mean, by the way, we also, uh, I, uh, because I don't think we'll have her on it, uh, his daughter sings well as well, and we've seen him do a duet with she her. Did. So yeah, uh, yeah. he can talk about all of that. So, John, yeah. before we give away everything, and then people have no reason <laughs> to come back, uh, what, well, wait a minute. What Bart, do you, what, they, what do you got to say all they for have ourselves? to do is tune in every Thursday. Every they, we right. say they have no reason to come back. We're here every Thursday doing our founders vlog. Right. That's what else do you need in life, really? Come on. So it is true. It is true. Uh, I'm trying. You know, I I got the book on humility you sent me, and um, that you authored. So I was working on being humble. Anyway. Okay. I guess I'm not very good at it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, John, um, uh, until uh, next week for the next vlog or yes. some interviews that we do. And we have a meeting tomorrow anyway, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Okay. okay, good. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for your participation um, and, and your opinions about our new formats and backgrounds and our upcoming uh, television one hour television format but we want you to we want to encourage you to continue to give us feedback you know what what is it you like what do you want more of that kind of thing um, you're looking at two old white guys who have been through a lot of that uh, over 50 road but we don't have all the answers we're only looking for uh, ideas to help you uh, navigate your uh, second act okay so from a young I've got a 25 year rolling plan guy. Okay. Uh, my, I'd like to leave you with the following. If you haven't already done so, please go to a, a shameless plug, go to our YouTube channel, right. celebrating act two is youtube.com slash celebrating act two and subscribe. And then ask a thousand of your closest friends to do the same. And this way we can impress Oprah. And maybe she'll pick us up and put us on our channel. So with that, John, oh, John, was that shameless enough? That, that's shameless, yeah. We'll see you next Thursday on our Founders Vlog. See ya. Thanks for watching. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.